juicy lime. You are not the only date I had tonight. <laughs> okay, Drunko. Start at the beginning. Well, it all started this morning when I had to go to the Albatross appeal set to get fitted for my hooker wear. I thought you did that part down. I tried. But my agent said that they were so impressed by my total panic acting that they wrote the part specifically for me. It is so humiliating. Does your agent know that you munched the casting director? No, she does not. Huh. <laughs> anyway. Then I had to head over to the CESA set to rehearse the latest episode. Where? Drum roll, please. I get shot. Ouch. Do you die? I won't know until the next episode. But there was an interesting twist to the script. How could they do this to me? I mean, like, after all the chicks that I banged on this show, it doesn't make any sense. Wait a minute. Did, did they? Make Stone Day? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I'm never gonna get laid again. Oh, come on, Stone. Grim up a little bit. Women love a man they think is gay. It's more of a challenge. Besides, homos make the best fans in the world. Just look at Lady Gaga. I am gay for Lady Gaga. No, you're, you're a dude. You can't be gay for a woman. Lady Gaga's a woman? Seriously? I thought Hi. that she was... Like a drag queen or something. Hi! I have been looking for you for it feels like forever. Oh, well, I've just been hanging out in here. <laughs> I'm Betty. Hi. I am a new writer on the show. Congratulations, I didn't know they were hiring. Oh, uh, well, they did, and <laughs> I've just been going over the script from last season, and I was hoping we could talk a little more about your character. Whoa. Start the ass-kissing stat. That's what I thought. Oh, wow. Wow, that's fantastic news. <laughs> Great. So, the thing is, I, I prefer not to talk here oh. on the set. Oh, of course, of course. So I was thinking maybe later yeah. at my house. Oh. It would really help me out with the writing. I'm sure, anything you need. Hey. Oh. Mm. Oh, call me when you're done. Oh, sure. Okay. Don't Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could not imagine jerking off to that. Well, that's cool. I hope you splurge on the good wine. Mm. So, make yourself at home okay. here. I'll take that. Super. Why don't wow. I take your coat? You know what? It just zips right off. Oh, so, okay. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Great. Thank, thank you very much. Have a seat. Okay, super. Oh, I'll just get the wine. Oh, great. <laughs> there oh, you go. Wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> mm, so, Simone. Yes. Simone, what a great name. Oh, wow, thank mm -hmm. you. Well, Betty's really cute as well. It's uh, <laughs> short for Elizabeth, right? Actually. Bettina. Oh. I had it changed legally. Wow, crazy. What was your name before? Tibet. Oh, like the country? Uh, no. Oh. Hmm. Okay, um, well, should we talk about my character? Or? Oh, speaking of characters, it turns out we have mutual friends on the West Coast. Oh, you're kidding. Mm hmm The girls wanted me to say hi. Oh. They miss you. Oh, okay. Um... Oh, sorry, isn't this, uh... Mm hmm it's Dana. Dana? Like, from the L Word Dana? Like, the most beloved character from the L Word? The only reason why I watched the L Word and for no fucking good reason they gave her breast cancer? Oh, I was just so devastated when she died. Weren't you devastated when she died? Um, no, yeah. Uh, it was really sad when she died on the show. That walk up to the falls to scatter her ashes. God, I... I cried my eyes out. Mm. Yeah, you know, do you mind if I just get a little... Oh. Mm. You know, it took almost everything I had just to get it together to go to Shane and Carmen's wedding. Mm -hmm. But you should have seen the dress I wore. Yeah. It was 
this big, fluffy, kind of like, <laughs> you know what it was like? Do you remember that dress that Shane wore to uh, Carmen's niece's quinceanera? <laughs> yeah. It was just a couple weeks after Dana had died and I saw you at the planet talking to Shane. At the planet. Oh. She talking about the time you were an extra on the L word? You were wearing that aqua top and when you looked at me, mm. I felt mm. our souls connect. Ah. <laughs> You know, that's really funny that uh, you remember me because I was only there a couple of times. Wow. Well, okay. I know. I almost lost you. But then uh, yeah. I saw you on the set for Les Girls. Uh -huh. And that's when I figured out that you were an actor. Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm an actor. And I was an extra in Vancouver when they were filming it. Uh, the movie? No, the L word. The what? Oh, sweet Jesus. Get out. Get out now. When I saw you in Toronto, leave it, I knew we had to connect. No, well... So you got a job on my show? <laughs> no, I no, I just followed you for a couple days. Oh, Snuck yeah. into the set and okay, it's yeah. fate. No, but it's not fate. It's not. You barely know me. We are meant me. to be soulmates. No. We are soulmates. No, listen. Bettina, you were living in a fantasy. The L word isn't even on the air anymore. And to be perfectly frank, it got, please don't touch me. Oh my God, it got really fucked up near the end. Don't fight it, Simone. We are meant to be together like Tina and Beth. No. Kiss me. No. Oh. Uh, where oh. are you going? Oh. Listen. Listen. You are crazy. And if I ever see you again, I'm going to call the cops. Oh. The you... real cops. Not Lucy Lawless. Oh, God. Who knew you would turn out to be such a Jenny? <gasps> you take that. So listen, now that I officially have a stalker, I would really, really appreciate it if you take my profile down. What? Why? That has nothing to do with this. She didn't even use the internet to find you. Listen, apparently I have enough crazy in my life. I don't need to date the crazy. Just take it down, Audrey. Okay, Simone. <laughs>